Hi, this is Josh Mayo here with the Center for Writing and Rhetoric. The title of this screencast is Using Google Sites Advanced Settings. And in this screencast, we will hopefully help you move beyond the basics to get at those advanced processes needed to complete, personalize, and produce your ePortfolio on Google Sites. Here's our plan of attack. We're going to learn first how to attach or embed a multimodal artifact. Second, how to rearrange or delete a page. Third, how to change the theme of your site. And fourthly, how to publish your site when you're done. First things first, attaching and embedding a multimodal artifact. The first thing we want to do is create a page for our multimodal artifact. So we're going to click on Create Page and give it a generic name here. And then we're going to click on the radio button that says Put Page Under Home and click Create Page. Okay, here's the multimodal artifact page. Down here you'll see attachments. If you can attach your artifact, great. You'll just click on Browse and plug it in. If you'd rather embed, this is what we're going to do. There are different kinds of multimodal artifacts or projects. You could either have an image or you could have a video, I suppose. Um, so we'll show you those two options. Here you'll see Google Video and YouTube. Now that would be if you had already uploaded your video onto those platforms. We're going to start off with image because that's a little bit easier. Click on browse and you'll find your file and once you found it, located it, then click open and it'll hopefully upload it quickly and here's ours. Okay easy. Now we click OK. Whoa, it's really big. Alright, that's that's no problem though. See here we have this little panel. This helps us align and size. So we clicked on small. It got smaller. Click on center, right. See we can do all sorts of things with it. Very easy. We can wrap text. Click on and type something in here. This is the text of my essay. Okay, and you can play around with it, but that is how you would get it in the main body space there. If you want to embed a video artifact, the process is only slightly different. You're still going to go up to insert and click on video. Uh, you'd already have to have uploaded your video to either Google or YouTube. But in the case that you have, you can paste the URL in here and uh, choose what you like about the border. Uh, you can include the title of your project. Here I'm just going to type multimodal one and then click save and your video will appear here. Your other option of course is Google Video so you click on insert right where we went before video, Google Video and paste the URL likewise. Now we're going to learn how to rearrange and delete pages on Google Sites. Let's say that over on the left here we have different pages for our artifacts and we want to place these pages under this other page called artifacts as subpages. We're going to click on sitemap, click on manage pages and then we're going to get this drop down tree. Click on the plus it'll drop down our subpages of home and all we have to do really is click on these pages and drag them to the other name artifacts and it will automatically place them as subpages of that page. At this point if we want to take artifacts and make it on the same level of the tree as home simply click and drag it to our name above and voila. Now let's go back to our site by clicking on return to site and see how we did. All right, here we have home and artifacts just like we hoped. We're going to click on the drop down arrow and see, yes, we have our three pages, our three artifacts as subpages of our artifacts page. Let's say that after all we wanted to delete a page. We wanted to delete our multimodal artifact. We might click on the page, then go over and click more actions. Then in the drop down, go to delete page it'll ask us if we really want to delete it along with whatever we've attached or embedded 
we'll click delete and as we'll see on the left hand the sidebar it's gone that is really the easier of the two processes changing the theme of your Google site this is one of the easier things we're going to learn today to change the theme click on more actions then go down to the bottom click manage site then on the left hand in this sidebar go to the bottom and click themes all these options should appear and you can browse through them and find one that suits your fancy I'm going to choose this one because it looks the most like Mario and once you've highlighted it you can click preview or click the preview button below it'll pull up a window here and it will show you what your site would look like if you chose that theme it hasn't actually modified it yet but it's just showing you a preview if you like it or if you don't like it you can close out the window if you do you can click on save changes it will save those and then you can return to your site by clicking this link and voila you have changed the theme of your site last publishing your site this is something that we showed you in the previous screencast but we're gonna go through it one more time click on the link that says private to only me click change private click the public radio button and finally hit save you'll see here that you've been switched to public you can paste that link and add people of course here whom you want to share your site thanks for watching and we hope this screencast was helpful